Investigators are connecting the brutal murder of two elderly people in Plano to a pair of women arrested right here in Central Texas just last night. Fox 44's Kendall Green joins us live in the newsroom with what we know so far. Hey, Kendall. Hey, Adam, the two women remain in custody right now. And the first woman, deputies say that she was pulled over for a minor violation when she was covered in blood. A routine traffic stop near this mile marker in Bruceville, Eddie, led to the discovery of some troubling evidence. McLennan County deputies pulled over a woman, and that's when several red flags emerged. The woman was covered in blood, then another woman pulled up moments later with blood on her clothes as well. Deputies searched the vehicles both women were driving and found drugs and more indicators pointing to trouble. He found two knives, one of them was covered in blood, the blade and the handle. And uh, the other individual that had pulled in front of that car had a considerable amount of blood on her clothes and on her person. Deputies took Cynthia Wingate and Carmen Marino in custody after learning that the cars they were driving belonged to two elderly people living together in Plano. So he had bloody knives, bloody clothes, and then they found a wallet that contained information on a gentleman that lived in Plano. And so uh, also his cell phone was in the car. After contacting Plano police advising they do a welfare check on this man's home, a shocking revelation emerged. And that's when they found two people that had been brutally murdered. The body of the two murder victims were found in that home. And now Plano investigators are here in McLennan County interrogating the suspects they think are behind it all. And now their neighbors are left struggling to digest the news. We hear about the double murder. We're just all in shock. Um, him and his roommate were living together and now they're both gone.